Good morning, children. It's the time for the chemistry for the class nine, children. So let's start with the valence. In the last previous class, we have learned about the different types of symbols. Along with that, we have learned what is the basic part of the language of chemistry. So today we are going to complete valency and its different types of valencies of the elements and uh, till the part of the formula we will be completing today. Valency is the combining power of an element with that of the other element. Also we can say that valency is defined as the loss or the gain of the electrons by an atom. But if you see there is a similarity between this definition, the second definition with that of the iron. Iron is also saying that the number of electrons lost or the gains by the atom if by the atom is known as ion so if it is uh, lost by the atom this is called metallic atom and forms cation and uh, if it is gained by the element then it is known as non-metallic atom those atoms are known as non-metallic atoms and they are forming anions this valency is of two types normal valency of an element along with the variable valency some of the elements uh, are also possessing variable valency how it happens let me give an example variable valency means some elements not only lose the electron from their valence cell but also they lose the electron from their penultimate cell which is incomplete that's why those elements are having variable valency let me show you some example from the pictures here is the definition of the valency and of an element is a measure of its combining powers followed by the science and the ion is a positively or the negatively charged atom which are formed by the losing of the electrons sodium of the sodium atom when it loses one of the electron it becomes sodium plus charges monovalent that's why it's called monovalent magnesium when it loses two electron becomes magnesium two plus is called divalent similarly if you take aluminium which is losing three electrons to follow octet rule that's why it's called aluminum three plus called trivalent these positive charged ions are known as cations actually. Elements with one, two or three electrons in their outermost cell are usually called as metals. Atoms which gain one, two, three electrons form anions like chlorine when it gains one electron, chlorine one minus comes monovalent again. This is a non-metallic monovalent. Oxygen gains two electrons becomes oxygen two minus called divalent element. Nitrogen gains three electrons to obey octet rule that is called uh, and three minus are called trivalent uh, element. Other examples. Some alternative method the valence of an element over the radical is a number of hydrogen atoms that will combine with the, or displace one atom of that element like HCl. In HCl hydrogen is uh, only one atom of hydrogen is combined with the chlorine that's why the valence of chlorine is one. H2O oxygen atom combines with the two hydrogen atoms to form molecule is known as the oxygen valency is 2. Variable valence I was saying to you certain elements exhibit uh, the valence is called variable valency. Let me show you its figure 2. Here is the example of the table. You can see the iron is having valency 2 and 3. If 2 means ferrous and 3 means ferric. Copper is having the valency 1 and 2 called cuprous and cupric. Similarly, mercury 1 and 2, mercury ross and mercuric. Lead 2 called plumbus and 4 means plumbic. And tin 2 and 4 are known as stenos and staining. These are the examples of the page number 4 can be learnt. Region now. Loss of electron from the valence cell or the penultimate cell 2. That's why it's called as a variable valency. Iron ka 2 and iron ka 3. Do valency hai. So this is the part of the variable valence and valences. Next comes formula. What is formula, children? The symbolic representation of a molecule is known as the formula. The symbolic representation. So for example, chlorine ka formula likhenge to Cl2, not the elements. The molecular formula is Cl ka subscript nere thai 2. If we go for water, H2O. If we for, go for the example like carbon dioxide, CO2. So these all are the examples of the compounds in which different different atoms are present and they, they play a very important role that is called significance of the formula it has got quantitative significance number one both the molecule and molecular mass of the compound if we take carbon dioxide then what is its mass carbon is 12 oxygen is 16 to 32 plus 12 is 44 gram 
respective mem members and different atoms present in the one molecule of the compound one molecule of the compound ke andar kitna two hamare paas atoms hai jaise ki h2o so two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen that one you can also understand ratio of masses of the respective elements present in the compound जैसे कि एच टू ओ हाइड्रोजन का मास है टू एंड ऑक्सीजन का मास है एटीन आई मीन सॉरी सिक्सटीन सो सिक्सटीन हाइड्रोजन कितना है टू टू इज सिक्सटीन इज वन इज टू एट सो दैट इज दैट पॉवर पोर्शन वी कैन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू शेयर द फॉर्मूला सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू सम ऑल्सो फॉर्मूलर्स थ्रो फोटो कॉपीज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नोट्स ऑल्सो आई एम सेंडिंग टू यू प्लीज गो थ्रू दैट लर्न इट टूमारो विल फिनिश इट रेडाइकल्स पार्ट से कल खत्म कर देंगे थैंक यू चिल्ड्रेन